Hi, I'm Joe Krajic, and I'm a professor of education at Michigan State University. I'm also director of the CREATE for STEM Institute. CREATE stands for Collaborative Research for Education, Assessment, and Teaching Environments. That's where the CREATE comes from. And of course, STEM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. I was also uh, the lead, one of the lead writers for the Physical Science Standards for the Next Generation of Science Standards and on the leadership of the uh, Next Generation of Science Standards uh, team. So in 2012, our nation released the framework for K-12 science education, which serves as a vision for where science education in our nation should go. If we really want to prepare our, all our students for the world in which they live in and the world in which they will grow into. We well, probably don't recognize this, but the National Research Council is part of the National Academy of Sciences, which, pro which makes up probably one of the most prestigious bodies of scientists in the world. And it gave the approval of this document. So when you look at the, with the framework for K-12 science education, it, it has the stamp of approval of perhaps the most prestigious body of scientists in our world, certainly in our nation. It was that document, the framework for K-12 science education, that, that was used to design the next generation of science standards. The Next Generation of Science Standards was actually written by teachers from throughout our nation, as well as people from higher education and the business world. There are 30 teachers from throughout our nation that serve as primary writers. There's probably six to eight faculty members from universities throughout, faculty from colleges and universities throughout our nation, as well as, as a handful of people from the workforce, engineers, for instance, on this committee. And it was that, that major committee that actually drafted, you might say, the next generation of science standards, achieve, oversaw the process. But it was teachers who wrote them. There were states in our nation that just gave tremendous feedback to the writing committee. So the committee would draft something, send it out to the states, and then receive just a feedback that would shape what those standards were like. Once we got a draft that we saw it looked pretty nice, it was then shipped out to teach to basically the world, the state, United States to look at, as well as key stakeholders, the National Science Teachers Association, AAAS, the American Chemical Society, the American Physics Society, the bio biological sciences, all gave critical feedback to the next generation of science standards. So when you stop and you ask who wrote the next generation of science standards, you know, there was 30 teachers from throughout our nation, plus another odd 14 people. But the feedback we received from teachers throughout this nation, from the organizations that took so much interest in them, you can truly say this was a collaborative effort from throughout the United States. This was truly a document written by teachers to basically enact, to basically give a vision to, to take that vision that was in the framework and make it more concrete. That's how the next generation of science standards was developed.